Ooh, you're so fine. Uh, you blow my mind tonight. Should it be mine? Uh, that's what I feel inside me. When you walk in through the door, feeling like I want some more. You rock my world. Uh, should it be mine? Uh, you're looking so beautiful, girl. I feel so high. Feeling like I touch the sky When you walk into the door Feeling like I want some more You rock my world Ooh, baby, baby Should it be mine? I, 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 take you around the world Please be mine I, I show you all around the world Everything I wanna do now Everything I wanna do, girl I just wanna chill with you How do I look? You look like a woman that's about to be devoured by her husband. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. You said this food is not for you tonight. Who is it for? That's for him. <laughs> so you mean to tell me that you're going to give all of this to that worm, whoever that is outside? First, he's not a worm. And second, I want to get all of this done while it's still hot. So be nice to him when you say it because I am nice to all your bitches. I really don't care. Right. I'm here to see Angela. Oh, you mean Mrs. Angela Lukonko? My wife. And the mother of my unborn children. And the lady I'm having tonight. Should I be worried? She told me to be cool with it. Yes, he is. Come on, Mickey. Don't scare my guests like that. Like I always do. You told me you'd be comfortable with it. If not, should I? He's okay, gorgeous. Hmm? He gets jealous sometimes, but that's completely okay. Come inside, will you? My Mama is hungry. Just so you know, I was gentle. So, um, open marriage, huh? Get out. <laughs> I thought that shit only exists in Hollywood movies. 
I said, get out. If I had a wife like that, a wife like that, I would never let a man touch her. Never. Get out. You both are crazy. Peace. my lookbook. Have you taken a look at it? I go extra mile for all my clients, sir. So be rest assured I'll deliver. Okay. See you, sir. New client? Yep. Some local artists looking for a facelift. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright, what are you thinking? Uh... This one, or these ones? Yes. Good choice. <laughs> Alright, darling, let me help you put this on. Clients are coming in to the agency today and we have to stop at the Revere to have breakfast. Sorry, and I'll restock that weekend. Um, how about you do it once? Just restock your own kitchen for once. How about that? I'm not going to have this conversation with you. I'm just saying, you know, one of these days we will be free to restock your own kitchen. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait for what now? I'm just not, um... I'm not in the mood. So you know I can put you in the mood. <clears throat> just, just wait, you're, you're choking me. What exactly do you want? We've been here for over 30 minutes and the only thing you do is look at the door. Ah, uh, listen, if you don't want, just let me know, I beg. <laughs> Closed early today. Yeah, I had um, <clears throat> some things to take care of. <laughs> I can see. Hello. <laughs> can I see you inside for a minute? So no go even every person come every minute. Wait, wait, wait. I beg. I'll help you this one. What's going on? And why is there a woman in there? Oh, oh, babe, if you can't stand the heat, then get out the kitchen. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. You think I'm jealous of that classless chick with a cheap attitude? Oh, please. 
Talking about the mysterious lady who keeps staring into our house. Wait, mysterious lady? Yes. Can you just go find out what she needs? That is after Miss Classless Chick has gotten some. And please, get her on. You know, sometimes it'd be nice if you could just... Say me what? Never mind. Your sister, she was so frightened when she saw me. Uh, my wife. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just I saw you driving in with this lady, so I just thought, you know. Right. Well, I want to officially welcome you to the neighborhood, ma'am. Uh, my name is Michael Okonkwo, and um, I live here with my wife. Uh, we've been here for 10 months. Okay. We're, we're newlyweds, so. Newlyweds? Yes. I love newlyweds. Right. Uh, I'm sure you do. Uh, Family. I'm sure you settle in lovely with your family and your children. Oh, it's just me and my housekeeper. My children are all married and settled. Right. Is someone there now? Yes. Come. Come say hello to our new neighbor. Oh, no, ma, please. You don't have to bother the little girl. That's, that's fine. Lady, actually. And no, it's not a bother. My name is Simi Sola. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Simi. Ah, well, nice to meet you, Simi. Welcome to the neighborhood. And I must say, you have a, a pretty smile. <laughs> thank you. Okay. And thank you for checking in on us. Uh, not to bother at all. Um, please don't hesitate to come to us if you need anything at all. Yes? Sure, I'll keep that in mind. Right. Uh, I should be leaving. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Please, my regards to your beautiful wife. And to the other lady, you know, the one I'm yet to discover identity. <laughs> I'm sure we'll make... Beautiful neighbor. Yes, I, I don't doubt that at all. <laughs> and enjoy the rest okay, of your day. Bye bye. Right, thank you. Bye. What other lady? I think that man is cheating on his wife. And you know this in less than how many days we've been here? <laughs> My child. I think there is more to be discovered. And I'm sure you will dig it all up. The good Lord will direct me. Good luck, Bill. I'm going back upstairs. <laughs> Babe. Let me guess. Our new neighbor? Mm-hmm. Oh, who thinks that you are my sister, by the way? What? Yeah. How did you handle it? Well, I told her that I was married to you, to which she responded, Oh, well, say me well to your beautiful wife and the unidentified woman that I do not recognize. And I felt, huh, <laughs> this woman, she is going to be trouble. Uh, a potential friend? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Angela, don't meddle. Stay out of it. Come on. I get lonely sometimes. Well, luckily for you, she has a uh, house uh, help who... Uh, she seems to be your type. Man, she's fun too. I see someone is already shooting his shots. Wait, what did you take me for, a dog? No. My handsome husband. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, has Auntie Classless gone already? Oh, yeah, 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 she has. You know, quickies are the best. <laughs> What a shame. Mm. I was hoping we could, mm, you know. Mm -hmm. But don't worry. You can't use one spoon for two parts of soap. Mm? Uh, you can, you can, if you wash the spoon very quickly, babe. Mm, nice try. Today was hers. I'll wait for mine. Mm? Uh, but wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what if I told you that? That? What if I told you that I love you? I love you too, Mickey. You know that. Does 
<laughs> wow! What you like? I love it. No wonder you guys don't like family visiting. Uh -uh, that's not true. We just don't like family sleeping over. That's it. Your wife's idea. No, Abby. no, it was both idea, and we unanimously decided. What's my own self? Me too. I'll soon get married, like very soon, Michael. Wait, mm -mm, mm -mm. Listen, yes. I haven't seen you in a long time. You're not going to spend this little time we have shading. Come on, beat me now. You want <laughs> <laughs> You're still mischievous, eh? you haven't changed. What about you? You're as hungry as ever. What are you talking about? I'm not hungry. Stop lying! You're doing that thing you always do with your ear anytime you're hungry. Huh? Sisters and their witchcraft. Brothers and their lies. What Where's your wife? She's not home. She's at work, you know, but she has not restocked yet, child. So, there's nothing at all. No, there is. I mean, there's rice, you know, green beans, uh, onions, uh, you know, oil, but fish. But I don't have energy for that. I'm not going to the kitchen. Apparently, nobody in this house does. Uh, 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 Show me to your kitchen. Nana, stop. Move it. I'm not going to Wait, the kitchen. Wait, which one? No, Nana, there's no... I'm, let me just sit down with... Oh! Show me to your kitchen. Nana, you've come now. You've bloody come. Can you imagine? Michael! Ah. Now, unbelievable. I just want to just say, <laughs> just live my life. I know you're hungry. Why just you eat? Yeah, I don't to help your life. What? What? what is this, Michael? Uh, the kitchen. Oh, oh, listen, listen. Okay, the cleaner comes on the weekend. I weekdays. What happens? Uh, listen, uh, this is. I don't come in here. You ask what was in the kitchen, babe. Knock yourself out. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Not my concern. the wrong house. <sighs> I don't believe this. I do not believe this. Tell me that all of this came from my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Very funny. No, sis, honestly, I mean, I mean, you're not usually impressive on irregular, but today I have to say you have impressed me. I mean, ah, I'm sure Mom was proud of you in the grave. I mean, she raised you. Well, look at you cooking all of this. Uh -uh. I mean, but just do me a favor, marry somebody that has sense. Don't go and marry an idiot. Try me. I'm still your brother. I will beat you. I see if you can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Small compliments, see what's happening. Okay. What? I can't keep this down. What happened, Michael? What happened to you? What do you mean? You! I mean, you used to be the neatest dude I know. Okay. Now, see how dirty your kitchen is. I, 
don't even want to mention how much weight you've lost uh -huh. from um, we are yet to restock. What is that? Yes. Excuse me, Michael. I thought marriage was supposed to make you better. I am better. You are far from better, Michael. What are you talking about? Listen, my wife and I work. We work. We're busy. Come on. What? Angie's a boss of her own. She can always make our time, or at least hire a living maid. No, no, no. We don't want a maid. That is also her idea, right? Okay, hold on. Do you have an issue with my wife? Yes, Michael. I've always had. I mean, what woman doesn't know how to cook and clean? Nah, that's not the height of it. What woman flirts with another man in the presence of her husband's people on her wedding day? Babe, I told you, sis. Listen, that was a family member, okay? It was a family member for the hundredth time. Family call! Fan base, me, Michael. Oh my God. I'm younger, all right? That doesn't make me foolish. I am a woman and I read body language for a living. Well, how about you read my body language that says right now, shut up so I can eat my food in peace. Read this body language. There's no peace for you again, though. I don't see. This is why we do not allow family members to come and visit us for a long time. Let me just eat What do you mean by that, Michael? I'm just trying to help you, all right? Mm -mm. So if you don't see that your wife is bad news, fine. Mm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Eat Thank you. in peace. Yeah, thank you. No peace for the weekend anyway. Please kill you there. Please. See your head. Then, in fact, this food is not even sweet. It's a cucumber that's sweet. Remember when I came in? I was even trying to manage. Remember when I came in? I was trying to manage and give you props. Now, because I've given you some props. See your problem. Give me the food. No, I have it now. Can we just play? Can we can't play with you? Funny, Calm down. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. No, leave my wife. Me. Let's just eat the food. Okay. Thank you. You have a boyfriend. I'm getting married very soon, you know. To a very good man. Who is the man? I don't think you stop very well. Here you go. Nana, you're here. When did you come? This afternoon. Wow. It's been ages. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> Meet Daniel. Daniel is my, my cousin. Your cousin that you just kissed, Angela. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you and your silly jokes. Ah, jokes. <sighs> Hi, darling. Hey. Sorry I'm late. Why didn't you warn me? Well, why didn't you pick up your call? I hope she's not passing the night here. Well, I hope your boy toy is not. His name is Daniel and he's my cousin. <coughs> she saw us while we came. Yeah. Oh, look who I ran into when I Ah, Daniel. Good evening, sir. Ah, cousin. Yeah. Good to see you. Long time. Good to see you too. How are you doing? Uh, doing well. You tell me. She's a grown Yes, yes. She, she saw us grown. And who is the cute lady? Oh, Nana. My sister-in-law. And she's off the limit. Yes. No, I am not. But Dania is. And why is that? Is he? Mm. Are you married? Engaged. <laughs> not anymore, sis. I mean, I broke up over six months now. Didn't I tell you? No, you didn't. Mm, my bad. <laughs> oh, well. It's getting late. I should get going. Mm -hmm. You're not spending the night, are you? He is. He's not. He's not. <laughs> um, sis, it's already late. Um. Maybe some other time. <laughs> I think I need to take the lady home. <laughs> Damn your cousin. <laughs> if you touch her, I will kill you. Yes? Yes, Daniel? All right. <laughs> good to see you again. Ah, sister. Good to see you. Um, what am I seeing you? Oh, make sure you call me. Michael. Call I'm me. not sure, but I'll call you. Yeah? Be safe. <laughs> some other time, sis. Yeah. Bye, so make sure you call me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you get home. <laughs> and uh, Daniel, cousin. <laughs> Bye. What the heck is going on? You bring your boy to us home, really? There goes my plan for field night. If you had picked up your phone when I was calling you, you would have known that she was here. Listen, sis, I'm telling you, man, it was so good. <laughs> I'm even having it for breakfast. Good for you. Are you alone? Yes. Why? I want to inquire about Usman. 
this man? Who's, who's, who's this man? Your wife's so god cousin. Ah, yes, yes, Usman, yes, my wife's cousin. What, please don't tell me you're, you're, you're smitten by him. Are you f On the contrary, Michael, your wife seems smitten. <sighs> Sis, what is this about? Is this about the kiss you thought you saw? Because Angela told me about it. Thought? Michael, I saw them. They were kissing, actually. Listen, sis, just drop it. I don't understand, Michael. Is there something you really need to tell me? Is that why you don't want family sleeping over? So they won't discover whatever it is that's going on? Sis, leave it alone. You know what? I am letting you guys go. Just leave your life a beg. Neighbor, come. Can I see you for a minute? Come, just come. I won't take your time. I promise. Don't worry, I'll stand. Is that Coco Chanel I'm perceiving on you? Yes, how did you know? I've used quite a bit and I can tell which is which. Impressive. <laughs> how are you settling in, ma? Oh, we're doing okay. God has been helping. And your housekeeper? She's quite a keeper. She takes care of me, all right. See, Miss Ola, get us coffee, please. Oh, no, 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 thank you, ma. I really don't want to inconvenience anybody. No one is inconveniencing anyone. But ma, I... No, no, no. Young lady, I insist. See me. See me. You see, the girl who cooks and cleans for me suddenly went out and I was trying to sort something out with another agency where you invited me over. I really have to go now if we must eat this week. What a shame. You know what? Why don't I send Simi Sola over to you to help? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, ma. How's it going? The soup is ready, the stew will be ready, you know, Diffy. Oh, great. I need you to add a little more speed because I don't want your boss to be left all alone. Okay. How's your husband? What about him? Nothing. Just haven't seen him since I came in. Is he home? Oh, wow. Okay, I am sorry. <laughs> I guess it's not in my place to ask. I'm sorry. I'm glad you know. Hi. Okay, this attitude is dragging too long and I don't even understand why. Really? Seriously, I don't. We both agreed to be with other people, so what's the stress? We both agreed to be with other people. We didn't agree to bring people over to spend the night. You should have seen how you were shamelessly throwing yourself at that guy in front of my guests. Really? Listen, we can do whatever we want to do behind closed doors, but I will not have you disrespecting me in front of people. I didn't mean to. Really, says the woman who was ignoring all my calls. <sighs> I didn't see your call, Mickey. Okay. My phone battery died and I'm sorry. Whatever, Angela. Whatever. <sighs> so, where are you going? Oh, who, me? I'm going to get laid. Apparently, that's the thing to do in this house is get laid by strangers. <clears throat> I'm done, ma. How long have you been there? No long. My boss called. She needs me. I have to go. Bye.
There's something creepy about this lady. This is even worse than I thought. Mm. Are you sure about this? Yes, ma. I heard them argue loud and clear. Sweet Holy Spirit. Mm. How do I go about this one? I'm sure the Holy Spirit will direct. Yes, I'm sure he will. Either way, you have to keep going there. This way she will be indebted to me. Yes. And that is a very good way of bonding. Yes, yes, ma. I would love to. to cross the boundaries. Listen. Please say something. Baby, I love you. And I always will. But we can't get carried away with this thing. Right? I mean, society... You can go to hell. As long as we are happy. Are you happy? Because if you're not, we should probably just do Listen, but listen. Happy or not, we have to be discreet with this thing. Okay? Noted. <laughs> you have a lovely place. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This for me? Yes, it is. Tasty, healthy cupcakes, of course. You baked? Ordered. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's very thoughtful of you. Mm. <laughs> your house is at home? No, she's not. Oh, okay. And your husband? He, he, he actually... That's okay. I'll just get us a drink, yeah? Ma'am, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, I'll get mine. Great. <laughs>
the guys that have been counseling the truth. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you're, you're funny. Uh, you're, you're pretty too. Funny and pretty. Are you flirting with me, Mr. Mike? <laughs> what? No. Of course not. I'm just, you know, just stating your qualities that I admire. You're funny, you're pretty. Yeah, that's it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you uncomfortable? No, I'm not, not uncomfortable. You're not? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> An open marriage? Well, I heard you both argue the other day. I just, I just wanted to know if you are attracted to me in that way. Uh, my wife and I, we're, we're good. We're good. Yeah. No, I, 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 I can never cheat on my wife. You really do have a nice place. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um, I actually just came to say thank you for sending this to me Sola over the other day. Mm -hmm. And to find out if she told me anything, like what? <laughs> okay. I really don't know what you heard, but I think you're mistaken. We can't do without each other. Okay, fine. I believe you. But if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. Thank you, ma'am. I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm just next next door, very very close. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Bimbo. It was really nice talking to you. Please stop by another time. Sure. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Did you just return with Mr. Congo? Yes, we met on my way back. Were you just his wife? Yes. And she totally denied everything. Of course she would. But Mr. Michael is a nice person. Sad she can't see that. I thought they were in it together, you know. Did he say anything to you? No, he did not. But from the conversation I heard the other day, I think she's the ring leader. Did you say anything to him? No, it was my business. Good. I don't want you to meddle. Leave all this to me. I will handle it myself. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Let me sort out the groceries. She's good, she's good. Now lie. What? When are you coming? <laughs> Brighto, you know you didn't enter trouble, Sha. No, I'll sort that one out. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course I can pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> of course. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah? <laughs> All right, man. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs>
Ah, boo! Boo! Um, uh, uh, no, uh, <clears throat> I forgot. Wow. Ah. Ooh, did I tell you that you are the most attractive woman I have ever seen? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey! Not sure. I've had better. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I was only kidding. Don't ever keep like that again. Uh. Yes, boss. Just so you know, you are still the best. I'll say it again, say it again. <laughs> you are still the best. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> I thought so. Huh? <laughs> Anyways, um, guess who called? Who? Brighton. Oh. Yeah. Tall, cute, macho bride from school. Hmm. What? Do you still have a crush on him? Someone cannot play with you again. Uh huh. Is it true he traveled to America when he was um, rusticated? Yeah. yeah. And and he's actually coming back in two weeks and wants me to pick him up. Why are you tired? How can I not be? It's true. It's true. It's true. I'm just gonna smash. I love you too. Have you been busy? Yeah, I noticed. And you? How have you been? I'm thinking of how to help a friend. Oh, is she suffering? Hmm, more than she knows. Too bad. I'm sure you'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah, the good Lord will direct. Gosh, what did you eat? Oh, garlic and fish. No offense, ma'am. You need to brush. Oh, um, I don't know where I left my toothbrush. Is it that bad? Terrible. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I'll just borrow my house help's toothbrush. What? Wait. Wait, you share a toothbrush with your house here? No, it's fine. We do that all the time. Ew. She's a clean girl. Who cares? No. I mean, it's your toothbrush. It's supposed to be personal. Are you serious? What do you mean by if I'm serious? The only person allowed to touch my toothbrush is my husband. Oh, really? Why is that? Because he is me and I am him. Wow. So you do value your toothbrush. Hmm. Don't you think I should? No, on the contrary, I'm just wondering why you should value your toothbrush more than your VJJ. I'm, I'm sorry, what? You know, your VJJ, you know, that part of your body that only your husband is allowed to go through. You mean my... Yes. Don't you think that 
It's only your husband that is allowed to go through that. Why should you value your toothbrush? Okay, come off it. Can you just tell me what this is? Okay. I see different men and women go in and out of your house. Oh, our cousins. <laughs> wow. You must have a very long family tree. Okay, Mrs. Bimbo. I don't know what you think you saw, but... Listen, I have been there and done that. And I know a dysfunctional marriage when I see one. I love my husband and my husband loves me too. That ma will go to the moon and back for me. <laughs> you know, I was just standing there with my mouth. <laughs> hey, darling. Welcome. Madam, what are you doing here? Oh, she was... Uh... I was asking her. My boss asked me to bring this to you. I was going to leave it here, but your husband suggested I wait for you. And what's this? I don't know. Um, I'll leave now. Thanks for your hospitality, Michael. Oh, you're welcome. Please, send me well to your boss. I will. Huh. Already calling you by your first name. Yeah, it's just being neighborly, babe. Yeah, good neighbor. That's what neighbors do. What's up? Oh. Just go to a restaurant and eat. Then he should go to his family. Why? See, so you know I have an important meeting with the client today. Really? Why is it coming? Good. I have it. I've got everything covered. Is there something I should know? About? Your overzealous display of womanly skills. Anytime you are in my house. I'm just doing my job, ma'am. Which should be something more dignified. Maybe in an office or a field. I'm not complaining. You should. But why? The pay is good. I get food and rent for free. Plus, I have a mom I never really had. What more can I ask for? Maybe a facelift. And you know why? Because people will always see you as a maid who is never good enough, no matter how hard she tries to make an impression. And that is a problem. But your husband thinks otherwise. Excuse me? In his own words, he says I have a good soul. But the best cook ever. This vegetable soup. God, the definitely is good in Cambridge. <laughs>
Yeah, she she tries. What? Yeah. Did he just say she tried? Mm hmm. She's a real deal. So listen, I always tell my homies, right? When they're about to get married, they should marry a woman that can cook. Listen, don't get me wrong. I know people like sexy beauty and all that. Beauty is overrated. Mm. The best way to a man's heart is definitely here. His belly. <laughs> there are better ways. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Why don't you try to stop cooking for him? When he goes out there and gets this kind of good food from another woman, then you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, can we stop talking about the food and actually eat the food? Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of it, hold on. Mm. Well, so, you're in town. What hotel are you staying in? Uh, uh, actually, I, I haven't checked in yet, so. No, I know. You said you couldn't go home. Yeah. Now the thing is, you know, bro, when I called you two weeks ago, yeah. telling you that I was coming back to the country, mm -hmm. I sort of ran into some trouble. And I just thought I should leave country for a while. But then, um, things went out of hand. And, <laughs> and these are the things that I'm keeping on the low key for now. I just can't. Right, too. Okay. I'll tell you what. Just for old time's sake, I'll set you up. All right, get you a nice place to stay till you can figure your stuff out. What? Yeah. Oh, my man! You're the oh. bro! You're the yeah, bro! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always knew it could count to you, man. Just stay out of trouble. Of course. You know what? I'll tell you what. Why, why don't you let's just stay a few days here? You know, catch up with you. Like old times, bro, the bro, you know, play PS5 and all that kind of shit. You know? Come on, man. What do you say? Hey, man, come on, do this for me. I, I, I'm still trying to recover from alcohol intakes and all that. I'm, I'm sort of depressed right now. I can stay alone, you know? I, I, I know I, I, I'm not supposed to spring up on you and your wife with this, but, but the truth is I, I sort of need your help right now. Please. Right, so, man, listen. <clears throat> You've got to put me in a tight corner, man. Uh, I'm not trying to sound funny or whatever, but... See, my wife and I, yeah, we We'll be glad to have you. What? For real? Oh my God, yes! I knew it would count on you, man. Thank you, thank you. You know what? I love my bag with the security. I'll just go downstairs and get it. Yeah. Um, hold on a second. This fits it up so, so nice. <laughs> Make sure nobody touches it. Right back. What the heck was that about? Why would you put me in such a tight corner? Because you're going to make a fool out of us. And it seems like that guy really needs our help. Since when did you start caring? What do you have to gain? Nothing. Oh, stop it. I'm not a fool. I know you, Angela. Okay, fine. I felt it would be nice to have another man in the house. That other man is my friend. A very fine one at that. That you said you were over. Until I saw him. Damn, that guy is delicious. Angela, I forbid you to have anything with my friend. You do not tell me who to be with and who not to be with. My husband. If that makes you feel better, I'll invite my friends over. What? No. What are you talking about? I don't want any of your friends. You're lost then. I shall listen to me. I beg you. If you care anything about me, please do not have anything to do with my friend. Anyone but my friend, it will hurt me too much. I beg of you. Bro, trust me, this was the best sleep I ever had in so many weeks. Right. Okay. Did you need anything? No, no, no. I just just want to chill, hang out with you, you know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. 
Babe, can King get us some juice, please? Angela. Juice. I know, right? Juicy. Angela. Juice. What? Thank you. Yes. Juice. is still as lovely as I remember. Except for the fact that she's no longer timid and introverted. But I guess that's a plus for you, right? I think. Yeah, that's, that's great, man. Well, can you not walk around my house like this, please? Oh, man, I mean, that's how we do in the state, man. It's just, I mean, it's, I didn't think it was anything. It's just, just, come on, you know, it's kind of hot in here. I mean, I'm not used to this weather, man. This is Nigeria, I can turn up the AC, yeah? Oh, you don't mean this. No, I, I do, really, right. All right, all right, I got change. Right, just go boil something else, right? Yeah, 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 right now. Fine, I'll do yeah, that. Yeah, do that. I thought I was keeping my juice, okay? Yeah. Come back with the juice, yeah? See me? Yes, ma. See who's at the door. Okay. Can I speak with you for a minute, please? Is everything okay? You said if I ever needed to talk. Simi, who is that? Uh, you know what? This this was a bad idea. Maybe. No, 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 no. Give me five minutes, okay? Five minutes. <laughs> who is that? Mike. You mean? Mr. Michael Okonko, our neighbor. Yes, ma'am. And what does he want? Um, he wants to talk. About? I don't know. Is he not supposed to be at work? Yes, he is. And his wife is not around? No, ma'am. See me, I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. But we're just friends. Simi, you're not supposed to be friends with that man. You know the way he is. But he hasn't made advances at me. And you're hoping he will? Simi, I see the way you blush when that man talks to you. Simi, be careful. Be very careful. Just go. Yes, ma'am. I don't know why, like I'm so paranoid. I mean, I'm at work and all I can think about is just them being alone together at home. It's driving me crazy. Because you don't trust your wife or your friend? Well, I trust my wife, it's just, well, she used to have a crush on him back in uni, so. Which wouldn't be a problem if you both were not seeing other people. Are we still on this? Listen, I told you what you thought you, you saw, whatever you misconstrued. That's then not... I'll just take back the advice I'm dying to give you. Okay, fine. Let's hear it. <sighs> we see her every day with different men, kissing and caressing them. Okay, and when you say we, you mean? My boss and I. I mean, in all fairness to you, she should keep her affairs a little bit more private. Well, maybe you should mind your business. I am minding my business, but your business is in my face. And I'm not the enemy here. If I was, you wouldn't be talking to me. Right, it's just... I swear, I... I you're right, I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't know how... how she doesn't get jealous. Like, all the different women I bring to the house. How it doesn't affect her, I don't understand. That's because you've been with the wrong type of women. Who would feel threatened by them? You need to be with a woman who would give you modern sex. A woman who would look at you every day lovingly without getting bored. And most importantly, a woman who can cook you a decent meal. Okay, and where exactly am I supposed to find this kind of woman? Sometimes what we're looking for is right in front of us. You just need to reach for it. 
I've liked you. I've admired you since the day I set my eyes on you. Your wife hates my guts. How do you think she would feel if we were a thing? Mm -hmm. You're thinking about it too, right? And you're not worried about getting hurt in the end? It doesn't matter. I followed my heart too many times and it failed me. I'd like to think with my head this time. Simi, so listen. No, you listen, okay? I'm the one with the most to lose. I like you quite all right. I'm not gonna beg you to like me too. Just think about it, will you? I have to go now. Sorry, I didn't hear you come in. I'm glad you didn't. Well, uh, I just came to grab a bottle. <laughs> You've got a little something on your chest. Oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, it must have been when I was um, doing some push ups, you know, on the floor. Hmm. Speaking of push ups, how fast can you go? <laughs> well, uh, uh, you know, it depends on my mood. Sometimes I go slow, but other times when I'm in the right frame of mind, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just pump it really, really fast. So what do you need to get your moods up? I can handle it. I, I, uh, yeah, yeah, hold on a second. Are we talking about the same thing? What do you think? Tell me you haven't felt the electricity between us since you came into this house. Angela. Angela, you're your husband. He would get over it. Hmm? You probably should get that. The phone's ringing. Go on. this dream since I was a kid. Yet this evil man and woman chase me. Mm. And they end up catching up with me. Do you know these people? Not at all. But last night was slightly different. The man turned out to be my husband and the woman was me. It doesn't make any sense. I have tried to shake it off as a main nightmare, but something troubles me anytime I think of it. Hmm. 
this something has been troubling you all your life, hasn't it? And this something is connected to what is happening in your marriage now, isn't it? How is it so easy for you to see through me? Because God is interested in you, my dear. Your text. Come unto me, all ye who are worried with a heavy laden. Yes. And now we give you rest. It came in the exact time I woke up from the nightmare. Mm. You sent that test at the very right time. Almost mm. like you planted a bug in my house. I guess that was what drew me to talk to you. I see. Please, do you have any interpretation for all these dreams that, that troubles me or something? The only interpretation I have is that you should give your life to Jesus. You need to let him into your heart. You need to let him heal your wound and your pain. You need to let him into your marriage and your relationship. If not, it will only keep tearing you apart. Mrs. Mimbo, this is not fair. I came to you for some kind of comfort. And what can be more comforting than an eternal life in glory? Come on. Let me pray for you. A redemption prayer. I know you want this. Give me your hands. Maybe another day. all the time that you don't mind. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Oh, there you are. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Angela, you are sick. You must be sick in the head. Excuse me? I take exception from you talking to me in that tone. A what? Tell me, Angela, a what? What, you, you, you're gonna pack your bags and leave? Maybe that's the best thing for both of us right now, to dissolve this sham of a marriage. Is this about Bright? You of all people know that he meant nothing. I looked at you and I begged you and I said, please, do not sleep with him. If I mean anything to you, it will hurt me too much. Please, anybody but him. But no, you, you wanted to, you, 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 just, you just had to. My friend, you had to add him to the, to the top of your conquest list. Really? Michael, this whole drama is getting really exhausting. We both signed up for this. Screw your deal. I don't want to do this anymore. Screw it. You need to a get rid of yourself and stop acting like a child. A child? Yes. You've been with other women too. Do you see me go crying and whining all about it? You know, that's the sad thing about this whole charade. After everything we've been through, Angela, the man that you know, Michael Okonkwo, do you think that I have ever been with any other woman? I don't understand. Of course you don't understand. 
because you'll be so focused on sleeping with half of Lagos and, 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 and filling out your bloody conquest. The only reason why I accepted to do this, this whole deal was because I wanted to be with you. Wait. What about other women you brought home? To make you jealous. Here, I was hoping that you, you, you would see them and then, and then it would force you to quit, but no. Obviously, no, that didn't happen because you've sold your soul to the bloody devil. <laughs> I don't believe this. I don't. <laughs> oh, you, you, you don't believe it's fine. You don't believe this, that's fine. Hey, Ngozi. No, 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 I swear, I, I'm so ready to go this time. Let's do it. And you said that the last time. Yeah, lose my number. Okay. No more proof. That's fine. Hello? Hey, you are looking for someone to make your wife jealous again at me. From that fire you came. Hey, baby. Don't touch me. I did all of that because I loved you. Loved? Yes. Angela, I'm done. I'm done torturing myself. I'm done sitting here watching you sleep with all of Lagos. I'm done. This is done. Okay. I'm done with this marriage. You're supposed to be my wife. I am still your wife. Oh, oh, all you care about is your conquest, right? Go do that. My wife won't hurt me like this. She won't. I'm just, I'm just... Don't touch me. Don't you ever call me Mickey again.
次に No. Come on. Can you hold on? <laughs> this is me. <laughs> what is it, my child? <laughs> God forbid. I know I haven't seen him in a few days. <laughs> in the lottery and I know our marriage is this for sure but my care is my life. I love him and I didn't mean to out it. Okay. I thought we were cool with what we had. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Calm down. Sit down. Sit down. Tell me all that happened. I, I slept with his friend. He got really hot and left. Why didn't he tell me he wasn't okay with an open marriage? He wasn't. From all indication, he wasn't, Mrs. Bimbo. My husband has never cheated on me, not even once. He condoned everything I did because he loved me and thought I would change. What a man. I know, right? I've lost him, gosh. I feel so dirty and so undeserving. How about I introduce you to another man? This one is very merciful and forgiven. And he will renew you from within. What are you saying? I'm talking about losing my house, but you want to introduce me to another man. Will he restore my home? He will do even much more than that, my child. Much more than that. Then take me to him already. Not another day, but now. I'm pleased to hear you say this, but I must warn you. <laughs> this man is very jealous. And he will not condone you. I don't want to anymore. I just want my husband back. How I've waited for you to say this for so long. Now, take my hands. Close your eyes and repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you. I come to you. In my brokenness. In my brokenness. Come into my life. Come into my life. And renew me from within. Renew me from within. 
I feel this huge lump taking off my chest. Thank you, Mrs. Bimbo. The pleasure is all mine, my dear. But remember, temptation will always come. But you now have the Holy Spirit in you, and this will help you out. So make him your favorite companion. I will always remember that. I, I think I, there's something you want to tell me. Yes. I would love to make some changes. So I was wondering if you would help me out. By the grace of God, what is it? I know you no longer cook, but would you teach me your recipe? I would love to start cooking. I will teach you everything I know. I'm beginning to think you moved in here just for me. The feeling is much more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Cancel my appointment for today and tomorrow.
Jehovah, we call upon you, Lord, to come down, Jehovah, into this marriage this minute. Father, call your angels, Lord, to take control all of this marriage Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Jehovah Almighty, Lord, we call upon your angels right now Amen. to bind every form of evil, Amen. every form of demon Amen. that is working against this marriage. Lord, we bind them in the name of Jesus. Amen. We call upon you, Jehovah, to take control of this marriage, Amen. to take control this marriage Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. I'm really excited at the way she has changed. You mean Angela? Yes. <laughs> what is she pretending? I doubt that. Well? that fragrance which one it's coming from you a, a masculine fragrance oh that it's, it's probably from the guy who was sitting next to me in church mm. Mm. except you rested on his chest I don't see how his saint would be so strong on you <laughs> no ma he must have carried me up when I fell under the anointing the service was amazing oh I see yes sir Anyway, um, I'll be going to dinner at the Okonkos today, so you can prepare meal only for yourself. Oh, okay. All right, man. Am I interrupting something? <laughs> Mrs. Bimbo and her housekeeper will... Simisola. Her name is Simisola. Say her name. Well, they'll be coming for dinner and I cooked. You what? Yeah, it's delicious. You should join us. Oh, no, I'm good. Uh, I'd rather eat poison. Well, good thing Simisola is coming. She knows how to fix a man. Thank goodness. Michael. Anyway, sit down. I need to talk to you. I know you have every right to be angry with me, but I am sorry and I'm I... really not interested. Are you going to sit or not? To be honest, I really don't care. Sit, stand, squat, roll over, lay, play dead, really don't care. <sighs> Anyways, I got into a bit of some trouble at the hotel I was staying. What kind of trouble? Gambling. Since when do you gamble? Since when you took a knife and stabbed it through my heart. What difference does it make? Can I finish, please? Anyways, I owe them a lot of money and they're making threats. How much? 20 million. Jesus Christ! Well, the good thing about it is you said all of it can be forgiven if you just do one thing. Which should be easy for you. Sleep with him. Excuse me? What? You want to act like you have any shame? Are you kidding? What, you do? You're asking me to sleep with a stranger. I'm asking you to do your hobby. Do what you always do, sleep with random men. Listen, I don't care how you do it or what you do. Sleep with him in the parking lot, hotel, living room. I really don't care. But you need to get this done within four days. And when it's done, call me and let me know. I won't do it. I wasn't asking you. And I am not missing words, Michael. I won't do it. Humor me. Why? Why won't you do it? Because I am not that woman anymore. 
But the he who lives in Christ is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away and all things have become new. What nonsense are you spewing? Mrs. Bimbo, she led me to Christ. I am repentant, my God. I am really not interested. I thought you wanted a new beginning. Yes, yes, I did. Three weeks ago, before you slept with my friend. And now I want the old Angela back. But she's gone. No, no, no. I want the one who sleeps with random men seven times a day, seven different ways. That's the slot I want back. But she's gone. Well, get her back, okay? And if you don't get her back, this sham of a marriage is done. Michael! No, miss me with that. Oh, now all of a sudden you're saved. When you were sleeping with my best friend, you weren't saved then. How convenient. Michael! Rubbish. When you talked about temptation, I never imagined it would come in this form. Husband, and I don't want to end this marriage. So, would you rather despise your creator or go back to your vomit like a dog? Then, how else do I earn his forgiveness? By praying for him, by talking to him. My child, you cannot <laughs> give in to this. You cannot. Me, please. I just need to see you. Please. I just need you to hold me and tell me that everything will be okay. Please. <clears throat> yes? What's that, Simi Sola? Well, that's none of your business. You are seeing Simi Sola. Well, that wouldn't really be a bad thing, considering that she's everything that you are not. But she's my best friend's maid, and you cannot disrespect me like that. <laughs> you want to talk about disrespect? How dare you? You know, that has to be one of the biggest, most hypocritical statements I've ever heard from you, you self-absorbed woman. Michael, whatever I did, I did in my days of ignorance. You know my story, you know where I am coming from. Can you please just temper justice with mercy? Bullshit, Angela. I call bullshit. You have two days. See, me cannot do a thing like that. I heard him talk to her on the phone just now. He called her name and said, Oh, I can't wait to be in your warm embrace. Like, seriously. Like, I'm the only Simi Sola in my check her phone. Simi, check it do now. Do you know anything about this? Yes. No, ma. She's just going berserk for nothing. Let me have your phone. See me upstairs. Angela, what is all this? I just didn't want to scold you in front of her. You owe her an apology. He sees someone else, ma. Everything is falling apart. I have to do something. Then pray. Well, it's not working. That is the lie the enemy wants you to believe. 
Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Then it had better start manifesting the physical very fast. Because I have two days to make a decision and I, God knows, don't want to lose my husband. You are a good man with a heart of God. I know that you loved me genuinely. And I'm sure all that didn't disappear all of a sudden. I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> Weeks back, I never would have gone on my knees to beg you. But here I am on my knees. Please. Please, please, give me a second chance. Give me a second chance, let me make you happy. Let me respect you as my head, I beg you. Angela, listen, you're wasting time. You know exactly what you need to do. Please don't make me do it. I don't want to do it, please. Because I am saved. I am changed. And Delivered. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that you're saved and, and, and you're changed. Where was your saved and changed when I was begging you? I begged you, Angela, not to sleep with my friend. When you would come and, and bring all those men around and, and parade them in front of me. Where was your saved now? All of a sudden, you want to pretend and put an act on. I am not pretending. I realize how much you meant to me when you left the house. Please. 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 Angela, you created this mess. Please. You put us in this mess. And now you know exactly what to do to fix it. Please. Please leave me alone. Please! Hello, my son. Ah, good day, ma. Is your wife in? Ah, uh, you can call her. You know, to err eh, is human. To forgive divine. Well, what about wives obeying their husbands? Not if they're asking her to do something unscriptural. Aha. But is it acceptable in your scriptures, Ma, for a wife to sleep with her husband's friend? Your wife was a troubled woman then. No, ma'am. She was a selfish woman. Ma, I never stopped her once when she was sleeping with different men on a sex capade. No, I stood by her. I prayed for her. I loved her, hoping one day she would stop. Was it too much? When I begged her, I literally begged her not to sleep with my friend, and she wouldn't listen? She's sorry. Well, ma'am, I'm not. Please excuse me. Have a good day. Wait a minute. I know that smell. No way. Hello? So I called the receptionist of Grace Tabernacle, you know the church where you went for your night vigil the other day. And I was told that they've not had any night vigil for the past three months. Why did you lie to me? Ma? I don't want to repeat myself. I'm sorry, Ma. I went to tend to a sick friend. I didn't think you would let me go, so I lied. Okay. Wow. This sick friend, do I know him? Is it she, Ma? Oh, is she? Yes. With um, a masculine fragrance like that of Mr. Okonkwo's. And don't you? Tell me the coincidence, because I checked your phone history that night. Ma? Mm. Mm. Angela is right, isn't she? You are having an affair with her husband. Ma, I'm not... I'm, I'm not... Are you? <sighs> okay, I can explain, Ma. Start talking. 
that evening, Mr. Michael called. He said he was hiding out in an hotel and I was depressed and almost contemplating suicide and that um, he needed somebody to talk to. He's my friend, so I, I was worried and I went there. And you went in the night and came back at dawn? It's not what you think. It's, it was the only time I thought you wouldn't be needing me at home, so I, I, so I went. Did you sleep with him? Me? No. No, me. Did you sleep with him? No, ma. A married man. <laughs> Chabo. It's not me. I did not. As a matter of fact, we were not even alone. We were at the bar. He was, he was drinking, was complaining, sad. Me, I only took coke. Coke and water when I was tired of coke. That's all. And then he was drinking, 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 so he got drunk. And since I was the only one there, I had to carry him to his room. So I'm sure that's when the fragrance got on my hair. I am sure. Only that. Go and get your Bible. Let's pray. Dear Lord, show up in her favor, God. Father, show her that she is your child, oh God. Show your faithfulness and your mercy and favor, oh God. Father, almighty Lord, do not let her fail. Father, she is your daughter and she needs you right now, Lord. Show her that you have got her back, oh God. And all this situation will end in praise, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to do it. No, no. My mind is made up. Angela, you are going to regret this. You're making a huge mistake. So let me. He is a merciful God, isn't he? I'll keep you informed. Deny it all you want. Hmm? My instincts never lie. <laughs> you are the Sinsola my husband was talking to the other day. Are we still on this? I'm going to fix my marriage. And when I do, you'll be sorry you melded. Good luck with that. Wolf. I think I can do this. Maybe we should just... Room 208. Call me when it's done.
look on your pictures. Have it. You don't drink? But at least you can talk. I just wasn't expecting you to see. To see? You, you don't look like you can hurt a fly. Oh. Depends on how stubborn the fly is. Don't worry. Drink up. Have it. Come on. Are you calling to say I told you so? I believe when all this is over, we're just going to move in together and I'm going to take care of you, okay? She will fall for it, I assure you. Who have you, you become? I love him. I love him so much. And the more I try to hold back and not long for him, the more, the more I know I need him. You slept with him that night, didn't you? Almost. Come on, you want this? I... <laughs> see me, see me. More than you can imagine, but I... This is unbelievable. <laughs> see me, see me. Please, stay. Please, I, I really don't want to be alone. something. If you were no longer married to her, would I have stood a chance? Simi, believe me when I say that you are everything any man could want. Don't you ever forget that. This beautiful is making love to him, laying there on his chest, listening to his heartbeat. It just dawned on me that I really need Michael in my life. And I want him all to myself. So
So, how long are you gonna keep hiding? As long as it takes for the hurt to go away. And then you go back to her? Not if she insists on having an open marriage. I see. How is she though? Miserable? But not miserable enough to refrain from her boy toys. Actually, there's been no boy toys since you left. I've been keeping close tabs on her. Is that so? Yep. My boss led us to Christ. So she claims she's changed. So, so how come you didn't tell me this earlier? Don't be gullible, Michael. She's pretending just to have you back. How can you be so sure? I am sure. I'm a woman. If Angel sleeps with one more man, I swear I am done for good. Let's put her to a test then. If really she's born again as she claim, she would not fall under any pressure. If she isn't, then she was really never going to change. So the gambling story was all a lie. <sighs> yes, fabricated by me. Simi, how could you set a fellow woman up to fail? Especially one with her past. <sighs> Jesus was tested. And it's not my fault that she fell for it. She's not Jesus. But she's his daughter. And so are you. How did you fall so badly from grace? When I realized I was almost 30, single and still housekeeping, come on. But I told you you could leave anytime you wanted to. To what? To who? What do I have? The men stopped looking my way. Michael is the only one who thinks I am pretty and beautiful. He loves me. I could have sworn I raised you better than this. You can't save them all, evangelist, Mrs. Bimbo. Okay? Oh my God, Angela. <laughs> I need to warn her. <sighs> Too late. She's probably in cloud nine by now. Let mm, me pop. Christ is a new creature. Behold, all things have passed away and all things have become new. What are you even saying? I'm sorry, I can't do this. This isn't who I am anymore. I can't do this. I shouldn't have agreed to this in the first place. Just get off me. Are you joking or what? I am not. Myself and my husband are going to find a way to refund your money. But for now, this never happened. what you are. Sick. Sick prostitute.
Hello? Hello? Afa? Oh, she no agree. What did she no agree? I don't understand. She, I, I, I thought she had already succumbed. No, now. Eh? We just the start at the age of getting into the thing. Now she stopped. Begin to cry. She should even quote Bible verse for me. You can imagine. I mean, maybe I should challenge my mission go. Let her go where? For some. For some. For some. For some. As in rape? Anything you want to call them. But make sure that action takes place. That wasn't my husband. Seven years of training you. This is how it's going to end. <laughs> A girl gotta move, Mrs. Bimbo. Hmm. Hey, darling. <laughs> My bags are packed. Simi, are you going somewhere? Y yes. <laughs> to the hotel. I know you're stressed out and you're sad. I'm going to take it. Simi. Why do you seem so desperate right now? Desperate? <laughs> I'm not desperate. You say you're going to be with me if you're no longer married to her. So... So that's why you forced me to set up my wife? I didn't force you. It was a test. She didn't want to do it to me. She clearly did not want to, but you pressured me into forcing her and brainwashing her into, into doing what she didn't want to do. And she only did it because she loves you, Michael. Which she shouldn't have done if she really was changed. She's a Don't, baby Christian. Enough, trying enough, to find enough. Her feet. Please, I, I just need to think. That's what I, I just. I just, I just... <laughs> Babe, what, what, what's wrong? What, what, what happened? Are you okay? Babe. I'm sorry, I couldn't do it. I couldn't just do it. You know, I'm gonna say this from No, 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 it's okay. I, I'm the one that should be sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Listen, I was hurt and I was jealous and I shouldn't have put you in that situation. I am so sorry. Are you okay? He tried to rape me, but I escaped. He what? I heard him talk to a stranger on phone and the stranger asked him to rape me if I wasn't complying. And I knew that wasn't you. No. Of course not, babe. I would never. I would never hurt you like that. No matter how upset I was, I would never. Wait, wait. Did, did you say he, he was on a call to some? Yes. Why? Simi, you dare tell that loser to put his hand on my wife? Oh my Don't I touch me. I swear I am going to kill you. I swear to God. What did I miss? Ooh, you're so fine. Uh, you blow my mind tonight. Should it be in mine? Uh, that's what I feel inside me. When you walk it through the door, feeling like I want some more. You rock my world. Uh, should it be in mine? Uh, you're looking so beautiful, girl. I feel so high. Hey, feeling like I touched the sky when you're walking through the door. 